In this video, we're going to take a look at one of the most commonly missed problems in algebra, and also one of the easiest problems in algebra. 4x squared equals 8x. The wrong way, which I see people do all the time, is they divide both sides by x, because that gives us 4x equals 8, and then divide by 4, and that gives us x equals 2. This is wrong. The reason this is wrong is we have divided both sides by x. There is a big risk in dividing by anything with a variable, and that risk is we can never divide by 0. What if x was 0? If x was 0, this whole rest of this work is basically irrelevant. We need another strategy in order to solve this problem. We cannot divide by x, or any expression with a variable, because that might be 0. Hmm. We've seen problems with x squared before. The most commonly used method when we see x squared is to get the equation to equal 0, factor it, and then use the zero product rule, which says one factor must be 0. So let's make this equation equal 0. We can do that by subtracting 8x from both sides, keeping the x squared positive, giving us 4x squared minus 8x equals 0. When factoring, the first thing we always factor is the greatest common factor. Here we have a greatest common factor of 4x, which leaves us with x minus 2, and it still equals 0. It is now factored and equal to 0. We're ready to use the zero product rule. The GCF is one factor, 4x equals 0, and the x minus 2 is another factor. To solve the first equation, we divide both sides by 4, and we find out x does, in fact, equal 0, which was that risk we took at the very first step when we did it the wrong way. We cannot divide by 0, which is why we could not divide this equation by x. Our alternate solution, we get by adding 2 to both sides, and we find out x could also equal 2. We have our two solutions for this equation, 0 and 2. We found those solutions using the same method we always do when there is an x squared in the problem. First, make the equation equal to 0, then factor, in this case with the GCF, and finally, set each factor equal to 0.